all right guys i just wanted to get this out here so it's so wet rainy muddy and just messy out here um i just wanted to get a little old basher out and, and just have fun with it down here in this old wet woods and if you look this thing is just covered with debris now <laughs> it's so much fun i've had this thing for i don't know how many years um and it began its life with a wing and a um a truggy style body well i pretty much that body took a beating and the wing had broken off so many times more times than i can even count on one hand and um i had glued that thing on multiple times then i bought several different wings and broke them off i got tired of exchanging wings and uh i went with the truck body and this time and i love it that's the way to go i swear if anybody buys one of these get one without the wing and and i admit the wing looks really cool but um if you're going to take this thing to a skate park like i did uh and then wings are just uh more for looks than anything they're going to rip right off um also the leds um when i when i put this truck body on here i didn't put it, take into account that i needed to cut around where the wires are for the leds i slammed the body on it and it just cut it pulled the leds right out the wires right out of the leds and i mean it ripped them right out it was so tiny that i try attempted to solder them there was nothing left but like plastic and a tiny dot of metal um, on each led it wasn't even worth trying anymore to to solder so i bought a new set and they were dirt cheap it was like less than 10 bucks and i got two sets of them so i got a spare set plus this one and it was free shipping so and that's cool and if you guys want to know where i got those i can uh just hit me up and i'll send you a link but um also um i'm not sure these are the the wheels that come with the truggy model the tires tire tread i don't know if it's the same i think it's a different tread for the truck version which is this one um but like i said this was the truggy version at first and um i love this little guy man it's just it take it takes a beating i mean it just keeps on going it's got a little thousand milliamp hour um lithium uh a lipo battery uh 2s and uh it it's just so fast and fun where it's just so small and I, I swear it's the best thing in the world um now i also have a um oh a, a red cat volcano 16 it's the exact same machine actually they apparently they get them from hbx and just um make a few changes which they just put their own brushless brushed motor on theirs and um and their own body and just slap the red cat name on them and and let it rip as the red cat volcano 16 and um, what i did with that my volcano 16s i bought one of these motors just like this and i put it on my volcano and it ended up being the same machine so um uh, really uh you can just get one of these if you want a brushless version of the volcano what i'm trying to say is if you want a brushless version of the volcano 16 buy, buy one of these that's, that's exactly the exact same thing uh these are just so much fun i free i love them so um, but I also love Red Cats too. I'm not knocking on Red Cat. I'm just saying I love the brushed version of this also. It runs great. But uh, th this thing has surprised me down here in the woods. And, and um, what it's able to get up and over and conquer, I I'm very surprised with it. Um, but anyway, if you guys like this video, hit that like button. Um, I do believe I bought the heat sink for it. Yeah, I, I bought that. It was only a few dollars and slap that to it because i used to run this thing with a 1600 milliamp hour battery and a 2200 milliamp hour and i would run it for a long time until that motor gets pretty warm and um that's why i put that on there it doesn't really necessarily have to have it if you're not going to run it real long like i was but um other than that everything's stock so and the leds was nice you can just buy the sets and they just plug right into the esc right there just plug and play plug them right in um but if you change them out what i did is i used uh shoe goo and glued them and put a little dot on each drop on each one and glued them in place because they love to fall out of those holders they just slide in place so if you put hot glue super glue or anything um, i use shoe goo because i can remove it easier uh, hot glue is easy to remove too uh, you definitely want to put a little dab of some kind of glue to hold them in place.
if you do uh, change them out. Even if you buy a new one, you want to put a little bit of glue there because they love to pop out. But anyway, all right, guys. Hope you guys are doing well. Hit me up in the comments. Uh, hit that like button. Subscribe if you haven't subscribed. And as always, guys, thank you for everything.